We're gonna drain the Delta Q. You mm -hmm. have this a little bit wet, place in here, push in till it clicks over to the sink, let it drain for the most part, and then you're gonna have this. Let it drain the rest of the way into that container. Why do you do that? Because um, you need to change the water. Because I don't think once it gets low enough, it probably won't drain into the sink because it's Correct. level. Right. Correct. So, oh, so you start off in the sink and then you... Yeah, okay. yep, go into there. Um, take everything out of the Delta Q. And in here, I'm going to put this back. Here, is there a light on yours? So in there, that little copper tubing, we're going to pull that out. Oh, good idea. And then this little guy here, which is on the left, we're going to just pull him out. It's going to be hot. <laughs> okay. So then we're going to put that down. Scrub out the inside. What do you okay. scrub it with? Uh, so you have your cleaner. Oh, sorry. Where is it? And you can use any kind of cleaner as long as it doesn't have bleach. Is it your jet clean? I don't have my cleaner. What is, is it? Is it right behind that? No. Is it the, um, it's not the finish? No, here it is. I'm so oh. sorry. I'm gonna speed clean. Speed clean. Yeah, yeah. that goes in. Yep, you here. take one ounce into the cool, ch into a cooler chamber, into here. You're gonna pour the one ounce. To cooler chamber. To cool chamber. Oh. Don't not pour hot. it in a hot chamber. Yes, because it'll burn it off. Oh, okay. And then what I'll do is I'll take a sponge and just kind of wipe it back and forth. And then, um, Put all your innards back in, run it on a wrapped cycle, let it run its thing, drain out the water, put more water in, you're going to do an unwrapped cycle, let it run its course, drain the water, hit so that it's back unwrapped, very important, you don't want to miss that because you're going to run your instruments through on unwrapped, they're not going to be sterile. So you want to make sure you're back unwrapped. Um, put your water back in, it's ready to run. And when do you tend to do this? Like morning, after work? Morning. First thing in the morning? Mm -hmm. I try to because your chamber early. is cooled-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this... How long does it take? 45 <laughs> minutes, yeah. It depends on... Yeah, so right? this unscrews, I take it apart, and I use tartar stain remover in a baggie. Put it into the ultrasonic, run it for about five, eight minutes. Take it out, rinse it really, really well. Put it back together before you put your innards back in. Back into the chamber. Same thing with this. Make sure there's no debris. It's all free. There's no cotton. There's no burrs or anything on it. Put it back in. Careful not to burn your arm or your neck. Oh, this is after it's hot. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, I burnt myself doing it, <laughs> so don't do that. And then you put this back. You want to wipe down your trays in the sink, soap and water, rinse really well. Um, everything that's in there, scrub it down, and that's ready for operation. There we go. Once a month. And I usually go... Thursdays, Mondays or Thursdays, because there's not you guys switching shifts and stuff. It's usually calmer days. Calmer days. So busy. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. All right. That's it.